Welcome back to Food Guide, where we explore topics related to health, wellness, and nutrition. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, medical conditions that prevent you from eating starchy foods. In today's fast-paced world, maintaining a healthy diet is crucial for overall well-being. However, for individuals with certain medical conditions, consuming starchy foods can pose challenges and potential health risks. In this comprehensive video, we will explore various medical conditions that can prevent individuals from eating starchy foods and discuss the implications of such conditions on their dietary choices. So, let's dive right in. Before we delve into the medical conditions, let's first understand what constitutes starchy foods. Starchy foods are a significant source of carbohydrates, providing energy to the body. They include grains, legumes, root vegetables, and certain fruits. Common starchy foods are rice, bread, pasta, potatoes, corn, and bananas. While these foods can be nutritious and delicious for most people, certain medical conditions may require individuals to limit or avoid their intake. Now, let's discuss the first medical condition on our list, celiac disease and gluten intolerance. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder characterized by an intolerance to gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. When individuals with celiac disease consume gluten, their immune system reacts, damaging the lining of the small intestine. Consequently, they must strictly adhere to a gluten-free diet, which involves avoiding starchy foods that contain gluten. Individuals with gluten intolerance may also experience discomfort and digestive issues when consuming starchy foods. They may face bloating, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Adopting a gluten-free diet is necessary to manage their symptoms effectively. Moving on to our next condition, diabetes and blood sugar management. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels. People with diabetes need to carefully monitor their carbohydrate intake, including starchy foods, to maintain stable blood sugar levels. When consumed, starchy foods are broken down into glucose, which enters the bloodstream and can cause a spike in blood sugar levels. Individuals with diabetes may opt for low glycemic index alternatives to starchy foods, such as whole grains, legumes, and non-starchy vegetables. These options have a slower digestion rate, resulting in a more gradual increase in blood sugar levels. Our next condition is Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. IBS is a gastrointestinal disorder characterized by symptoms like abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, or constipation. Starchy foods, particularly those high in fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols FODMAPs, can trigger IBS symptoms in some individuals. To manage IBS symptoms, people may follow a low FODMAP diet, which involves reducing or eliminating high FODMAP foods, including certain starchy foods. Instead, they can consume alternatives such as quinoa, buckwheat, or gluten-free oats, which are easier to digest and less likely to cause discomfort. Now let's talk about renal disease and potassium restrictions. Renal disease, also known as kidney disease, can lead to impaired kidney function and decreased ability to remove waste products from the body. In such cases, individuals may need to limit their intake of starchy foods that are high in potassium. High potassium levels can be harmful to individuals with compromised kidney function, potentially leading to serious complications. Instead of consuming starchy foods like potatoes or bananas, individuals with renal disease can opt for lower potassium alternatives such as rice, pasta, or cauliflower. It is essential for them to work closely with healthcare professionals to determine the appropriate dietary restrictions based on their specific condition. Lastly, let's discuss inflammatory bowel disease IBD. Inflammatory bowel disease encompasses conditions such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, which involve chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Starchy foods, particularly those high in fiber, can exacerbate symptoms and cause discomfort in individuals with IBD. To manage their condition, individuals may adopt a low-residue diet, which limits the consumption of high-fiber starchy foods. Instead, they can incorporate easily digestible alternatives like refined grains, white bread, and peeled fruits. It is crucial for individuals with IBD to consult with their healthcare providers to create a personalized diet plan. In conclusion, certain medical conditions necessitate restrictions on the consumption of starchy foods. Conditions such as celiac disease, diabetes, IBS, renal disease, and IBD require individuals to adopt modified diets that cater to their specific needs. By understanding these conditions and their implications on food choices, individuals can make informed decisions about their health and well-being. 
Remember, if you or someone you know has any of these medical conditions, it is essential to consult with healthcare professionals and registered dietitians to develop an appropriate diet plan that ensures proper nutrition while addressing specific restrictions. By prioritizing health and making informed choices, individuals can lead fulfilling lives while managing their medical conditions effectively. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this information valuable. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.